Heather YouTube, it's Gordon or Fat Old Climber and I have a box, unusual video for me, not specifically about climbing, I have a new camera and I thought I'd open the box with you. So without further ado, let's do this. So as I said, uh, I've got a new camera and uh, it's a new camera in Sony's lineup. When I, excuse the noise, when I started my YouTube channel, I made a very firm decision that I wanted to try and make it high quality. Um, a huge part of that's the content but a huge part of it is the production values and the filming techniques. So what I have here is a camera from Sony called the Sony A7000. Um, and I'm going to open it with you. I originally started uh, filming with my iPhone. There's nothing wrong with the iPhone. Uh, for most uh, people, iPhone will be fine. One of the things I wanted to do was to be able to do high quality video, cinematic video. So the first thing I did when I started the YouTube channel was to upgrade from an iPhone and I got the Sony FX30. On the face of it, it was overkill for me, but some of the features it had, I felt I needed, uh, but it was big. And what I found when I got it was as long as I was climbing on my own in a quiet center, I would get the, the big guns out, the FX30 out, but on a busy center, I felt really self-conscious. So Sony announced recently the A6700 and to my annoyance it was very similar in specification to the FX30 but cheaper and smaller. So what I decided almost immediately was I would get rid of my FX30, downgrade so to speak, to this camera and now I have it. Um, I, I don't know how I have it. As far as I'm aware, it's not released uh, until early next week, but the company I ordered it from has sent me one, so here it is. So, very small box, but let's open it. So, glad to see it's got its Sony tag intact. And let's do this. I don't know about you guys, but um, for me, any kind of new gear, a new gear day, particularly a new camera days of excitement. So we have the uh, typical paperwork, uh, including an actual paperwork workbox, uh, work, uh, workbook manual. Uh, some inside, what do we have? We have uh, a nice thick strap, that's quite good. I'm not sure if I'll use that. Uh, the battery. Now this is one of the, the brilliant things about the FX30, it uses the larger Sony batteries, the NPFZ100. It's bigger, lasts longer, it lasts a fair amount on the FX30, it'll last even longer on this camera. Oh, don't know what's in here. Oh, an iris cup. I'll explain that later. Uh, and then in here, presumably, we have the actual camera. Always look under the bottom. There might be a surprise in there. There isn't. So let's look at this body. It's neat. It's a nice little camera. Uh, this grip is a lot bigger than other cameras I've had. It's quite blocky. It's an APS-C camera, which means it's got the smaller cropped sensors, but that's far, far better for me because all my lenses are APS-C lenses and it has the Sony E-mount lens. I have a nice lens here, the Sony's wonderful 11mm f18, uh, which I do most of my climbing videos with. And there it is. The Sony Alpha 6700. So, um, as I said before, it's a crop sensor, an APS-C sensor. 
Uh, it's 26 megapixels. It's got an alloy body, so it's chunky, it's quite heavy, it's only 493 grams. Much, much lighter than the FX30. But with the with the alloy body comes weatherproofing, so it's weatherproofed, uh, slightly waterproof, I think. I wouldn't put it underwater, but I think it's, it's, okay, it's going to be okay with the elements. So it's a magnesium alloy body is what it's called. It has the flip screen, great for selfie mode. It has the photo and video switch, also has three memory slots. Uh, it also has a physical switch to switch between camera and video. One of the things that is far better with this from cameras I've had before, uh, it has it in the FX30 but didn't have it in other cameras I have, is it's got in-body stabilization. So it's got five axis stabilization. It has pitch, roll, yaw, up and down stabilization and those are the five axes. A lot easier to get a stable photograph but for video it makes a huge difference but it also has active stabilization in video with a very slight crop. On the side it's got the typical connections, it's got a single card slot which isn't necessarily great, USB-C, headphones and mic jack on the side. It's got a lot of buttons, it's got some customizable buttons but it's also got the normal array of buttons including a record button on top but all of these buttons are programmable I think it's got 12 cost customizable buttons so you can really customize it as you like it it has the newer Sony menu system um, and it's touchscreen the display itself it's brighter than the, the other alpha cameras, but it's still only a 1 million, I think 1.03 dot. So it's not ideal. However, it does have the EVF, the electric viewfinder, which for stills particularly is a game changer. It's a 2.36 million dot EVF, which is going to be actually a lot clearer than the touchscreen. Photo specs, um, it can shoot at 11 frames per second. As I said, it's a 26 megapixel. Um, the autofocus on this though is outstanding. Um, it, it's a lot better than older cameras I have. Um, the eye tracking is just incredible. It has an AI autofocus cut here to see some weird foot footage of me running about testing the, the autofocus. So it's really, really good. It has a lot of focus modes, so autofocus, um, by eye, um, also looks at the body and kind of knows, knows where the eye is so when you turn around it will still lock onto where it thinks the eye is. If you wear glasses, if you wear a helmet, if you're skiing, it still thinks it knows where the eye is. And it can also, it can lock onto humans, birds and other animals and that's eye. But for object tracking it will track insects, trains, planes and cars. So if you, if you do a lot of other Photography. I want to, for example, do some some video footage of uh, show jumping. My 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 daughter does some horse jumping. Horse jumping. She never jumped a horse. Some show jumping. Video wise, it's six K over sampled to four K. So the output is four K if you want four K, but it's sampling six K. So far far crisper, and it will do four K up to sixty frames per second with no crop. It will also do 4K uh, up to 120 frames per second with a 1.5 crop, and I, I really intend using that. So 120 frames for fr frames per second on a 24K timeline will slow down to five times slower. Um, buttery smooth slow motion. Wait till the end of the video, put in some samples. And these are all 10 bit 422, so very high dynamic range, very good for editing, very good for color grading and color correcting. And it has a very interesting feature that I want to try out called AI auto framing. So you set it on a, a relatively wide screen, seeing all the action. I really want to try this with climbing, but then it will crop in and follow you, making it look like it's a moving camera. That's it. That's my new baby, my new camera, uh, the Sony Alpha 6700. So over the uh, the next few days, I'll take some videos, I'll take some stills. I know that this isn't my normal climbing content, but uh, this should really up the quality of the climbing content. And also there's a lot of people interested in this camera. If this kind of content interests you, tell me. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And remember to ring the bell so that YouTube tells you when I've posted a video. All that said, 
Here is some sample footage. So that's it, the Sony Alpha 6700, looking forward to using this, there's a competition coming up in the, the uh, centre I climb in and I plan to be using this, I also want to film some of our club nights, uh, some more vlogs um, and I've got some information on things like fitness diet that I want to film and I'll get them out soon. So if you haven't subscribed subscribe. Um, if you like this video, like it, leave a comment. Um, it really helps the algorithm and the algorithm is king. So all that said, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.